Post game here with head coach Jim Pender, Southeastern, a 6-2 win over the Huskies here in the series opener. Coach, free 90s really killed you there tonight. Four free 90s coming around to score for Southeastern. Yeah, leadoff walk, leadoff hit bats, or three leadoff walks and, uh, and hit batsmen, and they all came around to score. Their first four runs all resulted something we give them. Uh, they gave us a couple too, but you know, you put them on, they're going to try to, they're going to run, they're going to put pressure on, and we didn't do anything to defend it, no matter how much we worked on it over the, the course of the preseason and, and, and earlier this week, it looked like we hadn't worked on it. Um, not enough slide steps, not enough holds, uh, not enough recognition, you know, after a fastball, knowing that they're probably going to want to go the next pitch, strike one, and we're just, you know, throwing a breaking ball in the dirt, and it's a perfect time to go. They, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing offensively, and they took it to us tonight. We got to rebound tomorrow, and uh, it comes with a little bit more of an edge and ready to compete. They got, they got uh, a couple off. They got some good swings off of Tim early, and I thought he settled in nicely. Um, you know, not a, not a ton of positives tonight. Though. The uh, offense, top four in the order, did a solid job, but from five on down, no one recording a hit for you guys. Winkles walk late was the only guy who was able to reach. What did you see from the offensive approach? Yeah, just, I mean, not enough. Uh, the kid did a good job. I, I want to give credit to Green. I mean, he pitched very well, uh, moved the ball around really well. Both sides of the plate had excellent command. And he's down in the zone and had us pounding it into his turf. And, and um, you know, when we did get advantage counts, like, He's a little disappointed, you know, Anthony Prado and, and Zach Susi, two of our, our very good hitters. Um, you know, you get a 2-0 and count, runners in scoring position, Zach doesn't get off his best swing, pops it up to the left field. Same thing with Anthony on a 3-1 and count later in the game, pops it up to right field. Uh, we got to get better out, out of those two at-bats right there, but it, it shouldn't come down to that. You know, I mean, we, we could have done a, a few other things, um, but we didn't have leadoff men on. You know, it took us till the eighth inning to get a leadoff man on. We got a leadoff man on in the eighth and ninth. I think they had leadoff. It's, it seemed like they had leadoff men on every inning. I think they had four of the first six innings they were on, and, um, you know, that, that puts pressure on. You know, we talked about it, but uh, we got to execute. We got to keep them off base and, and – uh, you know, tomorrow's another day. It's brand new, but we got to come with a little bit more of an edge. And, and uh, we told them, we said, these guys are going to compete, and they're a very good ball club. So you've got to have respect for your opponent. If we didn't come in, we certainly uh, we certainly will now. I know I did, and I, and I thought our team did, too. We just didn't perform very well tonight. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Chris.